Hi, I'm Deborah Hamilton, and welcome to Hamilton Law Mediation for a two-minute tip for people divorcing with pets. When people come to a divorce, I've had attorneys call me at the last minute because all of the rudimations and everything that's happening in the divorce have been settled except for who gets the pet be it a cat, be it a dog, be it a horse, be it a parrot, who gets that pet? There have been stories in the news where people have taken the pet and the other party has lost touch with it and then the pet was given to rescue, the pet was given away, and the other spouse was never given the opportunity to take the pet if in fact they wanted to. So there are three things you should really follow when you are getting divorced and placing the pet. The first thing is, if one uh, spouse is more attached to the pet than the other, then maybe that would be the most appropriate place for that pet to be placed. It would have to be discussed, and discussed in a way not negotiated for money, but rather discussed in a way of remembering what this pet meant to the relationship. Pets are usually the last best thing out of a relationship, especially when it's crumbling. You can see that in all the tabloids, they talk about who gets the pet when, in fact, big celebrity couples are breaking up. So the first thing is to talk about where the pet will be in everyone's life once the divorce is final. You might want to create a document where if something happens to you, the custodial pet parent, that the pet would then be offered to the non-custodial pet parent first before the pet is given away or placed again. And that would make it less likely that a dog would end up in a rescue either by intent or by accident. And the pet would stay with a person that they knew. The second piece is don't hold the pet for ransom. If you know that your ex-spouse loves this pet and will give you any amount of money to keep it, try to take the higher road. Try to have integrity in your negotiation because, quite frankly, this is not a way to get even with the spouse who you're so angry with. And third, if you're the custodial pet, uh, parent of the pet, sorry, if you're the custodial parent of the pet, make sure that if you recognize this pet had importance to the other spouse, the ex-spouse, that you create time in a year, in a month, in a week, for that spouse to spend time with the pet. So if you're going on vacation, offer the pet to that spouse to watch. It may be that they don't want to take on the responsibility, but it would show good faith. It would also give you peace of mind that the pet was with someone it knew. And if in fact you need to place the pet, because you've had job change, uh, you've had a, a living arrangement changed and you can't take a pet with you, offer it to your spouse first. I know that you are so angry at your ex-spouse that you want to do anything to really get even, but it's really just getting even at the expense of the pet you love. So maybe instead of getting even that way, you can think with your heart instead of with your anger and give the pet the opportunity to remain in the life of both of its parents because quite frankly, the pet doesn't necessarily understand why both its parents, as we use that term now in 21st century pet ownership, why both parents aren't together. So try to work it out in a way that retains a relationship or that you can find a neutral who could exchange the pet for you. This is Deborah Hamilton with my two-minute uh, informational piece about people divorcing with pets. If you'd like to know more, if you'd like me to help you work this piece out either with your attorney or on your own, please don't hesitate to reach out for me at the contact information www.hamiltonlawandmediation.com or dhamilton at hamiltonlawandmediation.com. I look forward to helping you resolve your conflicts surrounding your pet without litigation. You want to skip that at all costs. It takes too much time. It costs too much money. And the angst and emotional toll it takes on you is huge. Take care and hope to see you soon.